In the previous activity, we learned how to build an atoms with the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Well, from that activity, we identify some of the patterns about an atom. Well, first of all, we know that atoms are made of three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Then we also notice that the atomic number is equal to the number of protons. And basically saying that the number of protons determine the identity of an atom. So you change the number of protons, you change the identity of that atom. Then we have the mass number, and the mass number of an atom determines the total mass of that particular atom, of course. Well, that mass number is equal to the number of protons and the number of neutrons. So if you change the number of protons and neutrons, the mass number of that particular atom will change. And in most cases, the number of neutrons in an atom usually change, because if you change proton, what do we change? The identity of that particular element. So proton plus neutron equal to the mass number. And that mass number, or that mass, is measured in AMU. And AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit. So basically, it's a unit that's used to measure the mass of an atom. So let's look at some example. In this case, determine the identity and the mass number of each atom below. Well, I'm going to give you the situation right here. I have six proton and eight neutron. And I took the screenshot of particular elements on the periodic table. And look what happened. I have six proton. Of course, I'm going to took a screenshot of an element that has an atomic number of six. Because the number of proton determine the identity of that particular atom. So here's my six right there. So what is the identity? Of course, it's going to be carbon right there. So that is our atoms. And what is the mass number it's going to be? Of course, 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 AMU. And that is our mass number. Over here, we have 17 proton and 16 neutrons. So I'm going to go back to my periodic table and I screenshot the one that has 17, which turned out to be chlorine. There you go. So that is our element. And what is the mass number? 17 plus 16. Well, in this case, 17 plus 16 give us 33 AMU. And that's atomic mass unit. And over here, we have 35 proton and 45 neutron. So what do we have? So you go back to the periodic table, look for 35, which is the atomic number. And that would be our element. In this case, it is bromine. There you go. And what is the mass number? 35 plus 45 equal to what? 80 AMU. There you go. Now let's look at another important pattern about an atom. Before we look at this pattern, we need to remember that the atomic numbers is equal to the number of protons. And this allows us to understand a particular type of atoms called neutral atoms. Well, a neutral atoms are on the periodic table. Well, a neutral atom has a net charge of zero. Well, the word net means overall. Overall is basically between a positive proton and a negative electron. And when you take a positive proton and you combine with a negative electron, they cancel each other out and give you that zero. Hence, we have the neutral. How is that possible? Well, that's only possible because the number of proton and electron are the same. So the number of proton is equal to the number of electron. That means the positive number is equal to the number of negative number. Hence, we have zero. So if that's the case, so now we can make a statement that the atomic number is equal to the number of proton, but is also now equal to the number of electron. Hence, we have the mnemonic device called APE. Atomic number equal to proton equal to electrons. All of them has the same number in a neutral atoms. Well, what happened when we have an atom that doesn't have the same number of protons and electrons. We have a new term called ions. Well, an ion is any atom that has less or more electron than its number of protons. And one thing you have to realize that the proton is right in the center of an atom, so we don't lose or gain proton at all if we're talking about the same element. 
But what we're going to do is that we are losing and gaining electrons. So electron, remember, are negatively charged. Think electron are negative. And if you don't remember that electron are negative, think of the word proton. Well, proton, look at the P, that is also positive. So if proton are positive, electron must be negative. And then again, proton are positive charge. Well, in a neutral atom, that number of proton positive plus the negative electron, if they are the same, of course it's equal to zero. So what does that really mean? Well, the number of electron now is equal to a negative number. And we are going to look at that example more carefully. But before we do that, let's define what's happened when, have, when we have a negative charge or a positive charge. Well, in a positively charged ions, okay, the number in front of that positive sign, right there, that number in front, indicates how many electrons are lost. So, think of the term loss. What are we losing again? We are losing electrons. And what are electrons? Electrons are negatives. So if you lose a negative, of course the leftover positive protons now become a positive charge. Where if we have a negatively charged ions, remember we can only gain or lose electron, not the proton. So the number in front of the negative sign indicate how many electrons are gained. Remember, electrons are negative. So you gain electron, you have more negative charge now. Let's look at some example. In this case, determine the number of proton and electron for each ions, or atoms, I would say. Well, in this case, is this an ion at all? No, it doesn't have a charge. So we know right away that the number of proton is equal to the number of electron and equal to the atomic number. So right here we have two proton, two electron. That's the definition of a neutral atom. And over here we have O2 minus. Well, look at a negative right there. That negative indicates that it has gained two electrons. So before we take account into that negative, let's look at the original values. Well, we know that it is a proton and it's also a electron, okay? That's for the neutral atom. But now we have gained, we have gained two more, so we plus two more electron. What is the total electron that we're gonna have now? Of course, now it is 10 electron. So we have eight proton and now 10 electron. So that's the power of understanding the charges of an ions. Now in this case, we have aluminum three plus. Well, originally, aluminum has how many proton? We have 13 proton right there. How many electron does it have? It has 13 electron as well. This is for the original or neutral atom of aluminum. But that plus three right there, what does the plus indicate? It has lost three electron. So we're gonna minus three electron. So in this case, what's 13 minus three? Of course, now we only have 10 electron left. So this is now our total electron for this aluminum three plus, okay? So I'm gonna write in Al three plus. Well, in this case, let's look at this one. We have hydrogen. Well, hydrogen is H with a one as atomic number. So we have original number of one proton and how many electron? It's the same thing as the number of electron. So it's one electron. But that pause right there, it doesn't have a number in front of it. But we know it must be one. So therefore, it lost one electron. Right? So we have minus one electron. Well, one minus one gives us zero electron. So now, in this H+, plus, it has zero electron. Let's try this one the other way around, where we have fluorine minus. And fluorine has the atomic number of nine, so originally it has nine proton, and it has nine electron. So now it has a negative. What does that negative indicate? It has gain one electron right there. In this case, it has gain two electron. Okay, and this case has lost three electron. In this case, gaining one because I know that number one must be in front of that negative charge.
because there's no number there. So if it's gaining one, so we add one more electron. So now what do we have total? We have 10 electron. So now that's the total electron in that particular ions in F minus. Let's try this one. Ooh, look what happened. I apologize. I make a mistakes here. This is supposed to be N3 minus. I apologize. So well, in this case, nitrogen has the atomic number of seven. So we know that originally in a neutral atom, it has seven proton and seven electron. Now that three indicate it has gained how many? It has gained three electrons. So we're adding three electrons. So what's the total? Now it is 10 electrons. So that is how you interpret ions in terms of identifying the number of proton and identifying the electron 